I've been talking about this idea of using a mass, a conceptual massing model like I did in the previous episode, and then the next step being skinning the mass. And so I've been talking about this since I think my first ebook in 2012, this process that I use. And so I thought the paper mache was actually a great metaphor for, for this process. So if you remember our last video, uh, we created a conceptual mass of our part T diagram, right? Well, that mass is our balloon. And now during my process, what I do is I'll take that mass. Usually I'll actually print it out and I'll sketch on top of it to start filling in details of maybe what the elevations are going to look like and so on and so forth. But then I'll actually skin it, which is our <laughs> paper mache. I know this is supposed to be a bowl, but what are you going to do? They're two and four years old. <laughs> but essentially, right, this is our skin. Okay. And so there's two ways we can do it. You can use, you can actually apply your, your Revit walls, doors, and windows to the mass using like wall by face, or you can actually draw around it. Unless you're creating Zaha buildings or crazy slanted walls and stuff, I actually don't suggest usually using the, the pick wall, um, which I'm gonna do in the first part of this video. Um, I actually just suggest drawing walls and using your mass as a guide and so that's what we're going to do today so in the very first video so as we're going through this video <laughs> remember the paper mache remember our mass and remember how we're using it now to actually define the objects that are going to become revit walls doors and windows as we continue on this design